Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. I'm George Conley with Scratch Golf Tips. Today we are looking at the golf swing of Rose Zhang. Now Rose Zhang is likely a name that you have heard recently. She won the 2020 US Women's Am and the past two NCAA Division I championships. Upon graduating college a few weeks ago, she turned professional and, of course, won her first event on the LPGA Tour. Fantastic stuff from Rose Zhang, who's only 20 years old. There is so much to learn from this golf swing, and I'm really excited to break it down. Let's start off with the posture at address. This is a, an interesting address for me to look at because there's very little knee flex, and generally when there's very little knee flex, you have a fairly upright golfer, but Rose is a little bit more over. She has a little bit more bend at the hip. However, her posture uh, the, in the upper body, her back posture is very good. Limited knee flex, but that doesn't really affect her swing that much. We will often see a decent amount of knee flex from someone who's doing a lot of leveraging the ground and really having a very powerful long golf swing that's not Zhang's game we're going to talk a little bit more about that later on but for what she does the mechanics of her golf swing this address is perfect now let's talk about the takeaway itself. This is an incredibly wide and well-extended takeaway. She has very long arms, and if you see at the top of the backswing, especially in this view, how straight that trail arm is. It's it's impeccable. The the flexibility that she has in and the strength that she has in the upper body is is very important to have, and it's a great way to control your ball striking because as I've said in previous swing analyses, uh, if you can keep that trail arm straight, it can really help control your low point it's going to maintain how far the club is away from your body and it can really do great things for your ball striking so this is an impeccable takeaway it is on plane we will see that club face be fairly neutral a fairly square club face oftentimes we'll see players take it back and uh, a little bit more shut down and then they'll open it up through transition zang kind of works away from that notion and has a fairly square club face throughout the golf swing and through impact Real quick, if you're enjoying this video and videos like it, please like the video and subscribe to the Scratch Golf Tips YouTube channel to see some of our future uploads. Now let's talk about the move through transition. For Zhang, this move is started with a slight squatting motion and then the hips kind of clear out the rest of the golf swing with the hands to follow. There are no aspects of this move through transition that generate an incredible amount of power, which you know has the obvious downside of not being able to hit the ball out there very long but it has an even more prominent upside of great consistency through impact. The more jerky motion that you put into that move through transition, the harder it is to get the club on the ball. And Zhang does not need the power because she has that accuracy. From the way that Zhang's career has unfolded so far and the type of game that she plays, I see some similarities to Colin Morikawa, someone who's not crazy long off the tee, but just has such unbelievable control over the golf swing and the ball, especially with irons that allows them to be competitive while not hitting the ball out there as far as some of their opponents. Although the shallowing move does bring those hands down through impact. Zhang does keep it on plane very well and at impact she is returning the club to the same exact plane as she has in the address position. This is something that is much easier said than done and again I think this is pretty simple for someone like Zhang to do because it is a one plane golf swing. There aren't any herky-jerky motions. The tempo, the swing rhythm itself is so silky smooth. It just cultivates this rhythm, this flow of the golf swing that we just don't see from everybody and for those reasons there's no wonder why the consistency that we've seen from Zhang and the dominant play is so prevalent. Another aspect of Zhang swing that I think will be overlooked by many are the high hands through impact and coming up through the ball. Uh, the high hands in, in the follow through and the balance of the follow through is almost reminiscent of Adam Scott. It's a little less full than Adam Scott. She doesn't need all of that upper body rotation because again, she has a very controlled swing. She stays within her body mechanics, but you will always see Zhang hold that follow through, which is undeniably a great indicator of the fluidity of her golf swing and being able to stay on balance. You can take a nice hack at the golf ball whenever you want, but it's never going to be successful long term and you're never going to see consistency unless you can remain balanced throughout the golf swing. And a huge indication of that balance is being able to hold that follow through like Zhang does in these videos. So just in your own game, keep that in the back of your mind. If you're taking big flax with your driver, but you're always losing your balance and you're stumbling over, you can't hold that pose, maybe slow things down and work on your rhythm to increase your balance. This face on view of Zhang is another great 
great angle. This is with driver. This also is a great indication at the top of the backswing at how massive that upper body turn is. And just look at that extension in the hands and the arms long arms as straight as they can be that club face pointed right at the sky very square and then a nice shallowing move that is facilitated through the uncoiling of that lower body the legs stay fairly quiet we've seen a lot of golfers on tour recently on the both lpga and pga tour where that there's a lot of movement in those legs that front heel will be coming up scotty scheffler has that trail leg shuffle all the way behind him zang has none of that it's quiet it's simple one plane this is as teachable a golf swing as i think i've ever seen I'd love to hear your thoughts on Rose Zhang's golf swing. There is so much to learn. I think this is a golf swing that I will continuously be looking back on as I work on my own game and help other people with their golf game. As always, if there's anything that I mentioned that may be a little bit confusing that you want clarification on, leave it in the comment section below. I'd also love to hear your thoughts on anything that I failed to mention in this video. If you have any additional thoughts on the swing of Rose Zhang, I'd love to hear them in the comments. As always, we appreciate you watching these videos. The support recently on the YouTube channel has been great. Thank you all very much for watching. Play well and take care.